what's left in my life. So. Hello, everybody. We are here at the Pulp Adventure Con in Bordentown, New Jersey, Saturday, November 6, 2021. Great show put on by Audrey Parente and Rich Harvey. Of Bold Venture Press. This is the deal. One of the dealer rooms. There's two great dealer rooms, full to the brim of excellent, incredible material: vintage paperbacks, pulp magazines, comic books, hardcover books, big little books, everything you could think of. There's a list of uh, a grouping of uh, pulp magazines from John Gunnison's Adventure House. And uh, he's got some beautiful, beautiful magazines. And I'm just going to pan around the room, introduce you to some people. Here's Audrey Parente, Audrey Hello, and Rich Harvey, the host of the show. Rich, can you say, Rich? Rich, Rich, yeah. can you say hello? Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, and uh, these are two uh, hosts of the show, and here's some of the books that they publish under Bold Venture Press. Bold Venture Press. Thank you. I'm so tired and I'm hungry, <laughs> and I'm looking at too many books. And here's Michael Brenner's books. Michael Brenner has an incredible, beautiful uh, key books, and they are in beautiful shape. And uh, this is just a grouping of some of his books. And you can always, you can always find really nice things at his at his table. There's some vintage paperbacks, Whip Hand, The Missing Persons by David Gildas, Five Murderers, a lot of, a lot of um, very, very nice condition vintage paperbacks, as well as uh, hardcovers, including some British hardcovers. Some really nice material. Uh, is it even Brian Emmerich? Uh, is a rumor that he's here? Yeah. It's just a rumor. Just a rumor, but he's... Uh, He's here, actually, <laughs> for our detriment. Uh, Michael Brenner, Mike, can you say hello? Uh, hey, how you doing? Yeah, we just did a, we we're doing a video of the show, and uh, he's going to say hello, and we're going to walk around. Uh, a lot of a lot of really nice good books at the discount prices. Uh, if you if you're looking in here, forget about it, you go crazy. You can find some really beautiful things if you're a reader. There's good bargains to find, and uh, I'm going to look over here, some of the comic books and pulp magazines, and on this side, just give you an idea of what, of what uh, people have, there's boxes and boxes of pulp magazines, and a lot of stuff, different, different uh, prices, different quality, different uh, condition. Um, of course, the price uh, is, is based on the condition and scarcity. Some scarce items here, some really nice material. Uh, this is Cowboy Tony. There's a lot of uh, really nice material. On the other side over here is Paul Herman. And Paul Herman has a nice selection of books. A lot of, a lot of nice pulps, a lot of nice hard covers. And a lot, a lot of really nice condition paperbacks at uh, a, a very reasonable prices. Is Paul Herman. Paul, say hello. Hello. And uh, this will be on the video uh, on the YouTube channel later. And just to give you an idea of some of the books that he has, it's a really nice selection of really nice condition books. His uh, some original artwork. There's original art also here at the show. And different. Uh, there's a another group of books. Um, you guys, uh, second time books in uh, Mount Laurel, New Jersey. There's the guys that uh, that, that uh, run the store. 
and uh, they have a great uh, selection of books, um, pulps and science fiction, paperbacks, all kinds, magazines, uh, and, and nice prices, good prices on, on their on their stuff. It's very nice. Uh, Brendan Faulkner, Brendan, say hello. Hello, Brendan. Hello. Oh, I'm Brendan. Yeah, you're Brendan. <laughs> and and his wife, and uh, she's safely ensconced behind the uh, piles and piles of vintage paperbacks. Look, and, Jerry, look underneath. And uh, what's what's the doggy's name? Asta. Asta. Hello, Asta. <laughs> and here's some more of of, uh, of, of their selection of uh, magazines and pulps. It's fun Original to dig art. through. All of these things, you never know what you're going to find. Very true, that's why I'm doing it. Find Amen. some. What do you think? What do you think of uh, the other uh, books? Some love good it. stuff. Love it. Love I'm it. Trying to fill up a shelf, so uh -huh. this is where it's at. Good, good. Yeah, Enjoy. Enjoy. Thank now you. we're going to walk around. Um, more of uh, Brendan Faulkner is uh, his books, hard covers, and some there's a, an original painting back there and some movie posters. And we're just making our way slowly, but surely, into the next room, because there's two rooms here. Here's Mr. Harvey, Rich's father. Yes. Always a pleasure to see you, sir. The brains of the outfit. The brains of the outfit. <laughs> and um, we're gonna go into the next room now. And this is uh, something really special. A Dell paperback, wooden paperback book rack with uh, a nice selection of books. But it's a uh, Dell book rack. It's beautiful, beautiful. You don't see this kind of paperback furniture anywhere, usually. Very nice. And um, what's your guys' sharp cop? What's your guys' bookstores? What's that? Oh, uh, Geiger and Archer. Geiger and Archer. And Endicott, New York. Endicott, New York. Uh, right outside of Binghamton. Right outside of Binghamton. They got a really great store. And uh, if you guys ever get a chance to get there, you definitely check them out. They got some beautiful, beautiful books. A lot, of, a lot of material. Very busy in here, but I'm going to try and give you a look at everything. How you doing there? Good, good. Good, good. And uh, I want to, I want to introduce you to Ed Hall. He's going to bring all kinds of shit. Ed did the new book. He ordered the paperback. Right. Ed, can you Ed, can I interrupt you for a minute? Well, I'm introducing the next annual of that show. Right. Bring, get bring the previous one. Yeah. Can I intro uh, introduce you, uh, Ed Hulse? This is the uh, author of the uh, Art of the Paperback. It just came out. A big new book from IDW. Looking for him. Sorry to interrupt you, but uh, no, 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 no. This, that's a new book. That's his new book. And Ed did a terrific job on this book. It's available now, and uh, it's, it's full of uh, beautiful art. And this is his table. He has uh, also some material that he's selling, a lot of pulps and uh, other items. Thanks, Ed. Um, continuing along, we're going to uh, introduce you to two authors. Uh, here we have a, a special treat, uh, Thomas F. Monteleone, science fiction writer for many years, and a and a, and a Sicilian, and the great F. Paul Wilson, who's written so many incredible books, The Tomb, and The Keep, and Repairman Jack, and so much stuff that uh, I'd just like to say hello, guys, and uh, I'm doing a YouTube channel if you want to say hello to people. I'm not good with everybody. Yes, hi, everybody. Just wave or something, say hello. Thank you. <laughs> nice to see you. And uh, we're just going to look at some of the items that are on the table. Yeah. I'm not so I'm not so good at doing this this video stuff. There's another table. Of, hi guys. Hello. Hey. Hello. Uh, where, where are you from? And uh, this is the legendary Teal James Glenn. <laughs> and this is the infamous Chris Ryan. Okay. I'm from I'm from Weehawken, New Jersey. Okay. And uh, he's from uh, New Milk, New Jersey. Yeah. Okay, so Bronx guy, but they threw me out. So that means you're both from New Jersey. Yeah. Hey, what <laughs> hey. I, I was from Brooklyn, but uh, I, I got worse. Yeah, I mean, I, better. Well, I am yeah. from Brooklyn, and uh, it's hey. got worse. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Flatbush boy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, Lenny's of Lenny's of Brooklyn. Pizza. Mwah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm Sheepside Bay now, so uh, that, that good we used to, area. We used to go out to the the. Um, uh, 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 Knights of Columbus and uh, watch the fireworks and shoot said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. And what are you guys selling today? You guys, uh, these are books that you. Uh, this is Wayne's. He's, this is Wayne be back okay. in a This is um, Chris's and okay. Alex Simmons stuff. Um, okay. Cool blackjack. And these are, are my books, which are. This one is. Uh, this one okay. is the Pulp Award winner from the Pulp Factory this year. Oh, okay. Uh, best, best novel. It's if Robert E. Howard had lived. Okay, what really? his adventures have been. Really? That sounds great. Yeah, it's a great book. Wow. Oh, man, it's a lot of fun. So these these are new books? These are new books on old new, newer authors. Yes, new posts. Yep. Yeah. And uh, hey, congratulations yeah, on congratulations on the books, man. They look they look terrific. Thank I'll you. I'll be back later to uh, sample some Thank stuff. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna take a continue walking around. There's more. There's a lot of DVDs here and great classic movies and, and rare movies that you wouldn't see usually. More uh, comic books and, uh, and paperbacks. It's very crowded in here, so I'm just trying to get a walk around. Um, and uh, John French. And uh, do you have a company name or? That's just John L. French. John L. French from Baltimore. You can hear me better. Yeah. From Baltimore. From Baltimore. It's so noisy in here. Yeah. It's amazing. This is some of his books and some of books that he's published. It's all new, really cool, great. That's uh, a great book. I have a story in here. And um, there's many, many really, really good books. John L. French has uh, done some really great pulp-inspired, hardball crime. After 20 years, finally a sequel. Oh, okay. So many great, great new books. Where can they get these books if they? Uh, they can get them from uh, from Amazon, uh -huh. uh, Barnes and Noble, uh -huh. both in well, both in uh, hard co hard copy and uh, ebook, electronic. Or yeah. they can get it from some of the publishers, uh -huh. uh, Bold Venture Press, Padworth Publishing, okay. and Espec Books. Okay, we're going to put a lot of that information at the uh, uh, in the description in the in this bottom of this video. So you'll be able to, uh, if you're interested in any of the books you've seen from any of the the, uh, the, the uh, uh, authors here and publishers, you'll be able to get them. Uh, thanks, John. Gary. And we're going to look around here. Some more. Just some local stuff. More Nothing stuff. big here. <laughs> and what's your name? Who's Adam Sherman. Adam Sherman. Yeah. You're Alan's son. I'm Alan's son. You're Alan's son. I'm Alan's son. Oh, yeah. how, how's he doing? He passed away, unfortunately, a couple oh, of years ago. God. Yeah, I'm so, so sorry. Thank you. Thank he was, he was such a great guy, yeah. man. You look like him. I know. That's what I'm saying. I, just just, like I know I've met you before, yes. but I, I, I'm saying, like, I, you know, my memory's shot, too. Yeah, yeah, a couple of years ago. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, at my show in New yeah, York. Yes, yes. I, so I saw you. I met you a bunch of times. Yeah. yeah, he was such a great guy, yeah, man. He was. Yeah, I miss him a lot. He was a taxi driver. Yeah, he was sacked. Then he, was, then he owned a mining and buffer shop for a number of years. Yeah, yeah. great guy. And you're selling, what are you selling over here? I'm selling a lot of his stuff, actually. Oh. A lot of his stuff here, just odds and ends. Yeah. Press, one or two uh, Arkham House books and paperbacks. Yeah, he always used to sell like uh, some really nice hard covers. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Like, this House. is almost the last of the Arkham House books. Is uh -huh. the Tales of the Cthulhu Mythos is somewhere over here. The Arkham House. Over here, maybe that's what. Uh huh. Yeah. He press some stuff like that. Yeah. He loved those books. Oh, he loved those books. Yeah. So. Uh, it's, a, it's nice seeing you again. You too. Man. Nice seeing you. Yeah. Take care. Uh, I'm so, I'm so sorry about him. Thank you. 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 From the books, is it? Or? No, this is, uh, these are the books here, my grandfather's short stories. Uh -huh. uh, and these are, a friend of mine does some uh, uh, different artworks. So. so your grandfather wrote 
stories for for Weird Tales. For Weird Tales. Yeah, Weird Tales and a few other programs. He was an original Weird Tales author. Yes. Back in the day. Right, back in 1924, 25, 26. Yeah. 1920s. Wow. Yes. So I rediscovered all his original manuscripts. Uh huh. So I put a, a few of his uh, short story collections together. Uh huh. And and your. Uh, my name is Jim Dyer. Jim Dyer. I'm Sam Eddie Jr.'s grandson. I, I can't hear. Uh, Jim Dyer. Uh huh. Uh, Sam Eddie Jr.'s grandson. Oh, okay. He was, uh, he was I met you, I think, the last one. Le le the one before this, yeah. Uh, yeah, a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. great, great. You're doing, you're doing some beautiful stuff. This yeah. is really nice. Yeah. And uh, so this here's the, yeah. here's the Lovecraft boss. Yeah, a friend of mine makes uh, sculptures, so I oh, yeah? figured I'd uh, showcase some of my friend's artwork and stuff. So. Very nice. Wow. Very nice. Wow. And then I, uh, a couple of my grandfather's stories of Love Dead, I had a comic book made and a spoken out record, too. So these are the stories that were originally in Rare Tales? In yes. Yep. Very nice, very nice. There's some of the books. Here's a, an article in the magazine that was uh, about, about his grandfather. So Weird Tales lives on, yes. and uh, the legend lives on. Yes, yes. Thank, you. Thank you. And I'm going to continue walking around. Hi. Um, we're going to have a, show some of the books and, and uh, magazines. Can you introduce yourself to our viewers? Francis Giordano. Francis Giordano, and Francis has been uh, at these shows for many years, and uh, we know him from, from years of the old Golden Gate, uh, Golden Gate shows. Francis always has an interesting selection of, of material, uh, comics, sports memorabilia, all kinds of uh, baseball cards and other cards. You can see here, very nice material. You can always find a good bargain over here. He has good books, nice hard covers. And I'm trying to give you an idea, showing some of the, the great stuff that's at this show and that all the dealers have on display. Here's some of the covers. A lot of really, really nice material. A lot of really nice cover art. Take a picture of the last rider. There's Nick Soto. Hi, Nick. Oh, I like the... I like the... Uh, it, is that something Lucille's doing? Uh, yeah, she was, she's, yeah. she's got me doing uh, YouTube now. The, uh, the other side of your phone. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah. And that she didn't do she didn't do it. Oh. It's uh it's, I, I got it. It's uh what he's what he's talking about is the uh I don't know, the image uh phone uh protecting the thing on my cell phone that protects it. It's a uh, nice women in crime uh image, which uh I can't show you because it's on the other side of my phone as I'm filming now. <laughs> But uh, this is Nick's uh, table, and some of the things that he's selling. He's got some beautiful stuff. Nick always has interesting material. And a lot of nice, <coughs> me, lot of nice paperbacks. And, uh, Larry's bargain basement. That's, is that Larry behind the mask? Okay, and there's some really nice material over here that he has. And, um, next dealer has some cards, a lot of, a lot of non-sports cards, really nice non-sports cards in sets and groups. So would you guys like to introduce yourselves, just say hello? This is a YouTube video we're doing. Uh, do you have a store or? Uh... Hi, I'm Dan. This is Mary. <laughs> Hi, Dan. Hi, Mary. You have some beautiful things here. A lot of nice uh, non-sports cards. Interesting. 
very interesting material. And here's, here's Audrey taking more pictures and more, ta more taking out the tables. We're going to go to another table. Some movie posters here. Uh, James Bond, Sean Connery. From your only live twice. You only live twice. Really cool. Sean Connery's James Bond. This is Bruce and Sharon Tinkle. Hi, Sharon. Bruce is down there in the corner. <laughs> and uh, they have some nice selection of pulp magazines, hardcover science fiction books. Five dollars each, three for ten dollars. Where do you where do you find beautiful mint hardcover science fiction first editions for that price? And these are great, great bargains. More more material, both of horror, EC comics, classic pulp, classic pulp comics. I mean pulp paperbacks, reprints. Uh, behind Sharon, there's a whole, a whole uh, group of nice pulps. Including uh, the Ghost Strange Tales, I Know the World, Shadow Magazine, Cosmos Science Fiction, more great stuff. Bruce has a uh, very nice collection of uh, movie posters, lobby cards, Revenge of the Creature. You find all kinds of really nice. The Cobra Woman. Really nice. I walk along. How to make a monster. I was a teenage werewolf, which is probably probably Bruce was a teenage werewolf. Say hello, this Bruce. Is, this is a collector's item plate. Amy Chandler had a baby on this plate in 1934. Yeah. It's only 8,000 Okay. I'm going to have to shoot you later. <laughs> well, that's it. That's it. That's uh, It's very crowded in here, very noisy. But just to give you an idea of this old show, uh, it's very busy. Uh, a lot of people are buying a lot of stuff. And, uh, like I say, this is just one room of the two rooms. And uh, it's full to the brim of all kinds of pulps, paperbacks, books, and, uh, and great stuff. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and this look at Pulp Adventure Con in Gordon uh, Town, New Jersey. And if you did, give us a Give us a thumbs up and a like, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, we'll see you next time. Share it with a friend, and subscribe to get uh, information on the new future uh, videos, and see all the videos we've done. We've done almost over 200, we've done over 200 videos, and um, in that case, you can uh, see all the different uh, different topics that we've covered. Hope you enjoyed this again, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot for watching.